Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. For all of you who are fans of diamond painting but you might not be a fan of cartoons. So I saw this uh, as they were making their release schedule and thank you so much Diamond Art Club for letting me pick a few diamond paintings that I wanted to share with my viewers. I thought that this might be something that will appeal to a lot of people. So without further ado, this is Pink Roses by Kelly Eddington. This is a round drilled diamond painting and it's 66 by 51 centimeters or 26 inches by 20 inches. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love the picture. So this is the box that it came in. It came in a separate box as well. So it has a shipping box and then this box inside. And then inside this box is everything you need. So if you want to, you could gift this box to someone uh, and give them the gift of doing their own diamond art if they've never done it before. So in the box, you've got a toolkit. You've got the canvas and all of the diamonds in here and you've got an inventory sheet so this I usually stick this on the side of the box just for storage purposes but you can put this in, in a journal if you want um, in the toolkit you've got everything I've been showing these I hope that you don't mind because it's very interesting these new toolkits that they have and you might not know what's what is you know, these little things. This is washi tape. Some people use this on the outside of the canvas where it's a sticky area, but you don't put diamonds. They put this around the outside just to keep any little, you know, fuzz from your sweaters or anything off the edges while you're diamond painting. We've got baggies. So you can put your drills. If you open a bag and you don't have a container system, you could put your drills in these. Then we've got a pen. This time we have an orange pen with a little pen grip which I call a squishy I don't know because I'm perpetually five <laughs> and then they also have these two pieces here these little white pieces are called multi placers you can stick four diamonds at a time with this one and you could stick seven diamonds at a time with this one you just stick it into the top of the pen like so and I have some videos I'll make sure to link them um, of how to use this tool if you are brand new and you don't know we also have this this little heart container here has two plates of heart shaped wax this is what picks up those diamonds you need to stick your pen into that to pick up those diamonds we have what's called a cover minder. When you peel back the plastic on these, you can use this to hold it back. And then we have a drill tray. So this is what you pour the diamonds into to make it easy to pick up. And this little thing is a stopper so that the diamonds don't fall out the end when you're shaking them into the lines. If you need a how-to video, please check out the video that's linked right here in the eye, and I'll help guide you through step-by-step. Step. Let's go ahead and get into the diamond painting itself. So it's in a dust bag, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And on the inside, we've got the canvas and the diamonds. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull those out first, just like so. I've got the drills here. Wow, look at all those beautiful pinks and reds. So pretty. And there's specialty drills in here too. I'll show you those more in just a moment. We've got an instruction booklet. It gives you a thank you. There's a coupon code. If you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and you'd like to use a discount code, I have one down below. I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. So if you do use that, just keep in mind that I will get a small commission, but I really thank you if you decide to do so. Um, but these will give you instructions on how to diamond paint as well. If you don't want to watch a video, that's fine. Uh oh, I got a little crumpled. That's okay. Let me just make sure that I can get my stickers back on here just like that okay so this is the inventory sheet this has all of the DMC numbers which are the color codes 
uh, for the drills as well as the symbols that you'll see on the canvas. So you want to match the color code to the symbol. This first number doesn't mean anything at all. That's just the order and how many colors you'll see. Um, these are the numbers that are on the bags like 113, 126, 127, etc. And these are the symbols that you match on the canvas itself. So here we can tell that we have four special diamonds that have an iridescent coating on them. And then we have all of the rest of these colors as well. So cool. Now, are you ready to see the canvas? This one is a in like printed in landscape, but I actually like this in portrait too. You could change you could change the orientation of this kit and it still looks phenomenal. So that's kind of cool. You can fit it to your personal taste and your walls. So here you can see the kit, the canvas, so pretty. Beautiful artwork, oh my goodness. Kelly has an amazing eye. You should definitely check her out on Instagram. I'll have her link down below in the description box. But this is gorgeous. So just to give you a rundown, if you've never seen one before, we have the um, trade bark up here. We've got legends on both sides of the canvas so that if you're working, you know, one side, you have your key right there. If you choose not to use the stickers, there's details about the kit here. We've got their social media information, and then there's a lifetime warranty on these kits as well. You can check out more about that. Oops, I got cut off there, sorry about that. So let's look at the canvas itself. You can see the symbols here and how clear they are. There are guide circles to help you to place the diamonds. So you just wanna make sure that you cover up those little circles, like for example, the number two or the equal sign um, or that white dot. Just try to line it up as close as possible. If you're having trouble lining up the diamonds, I do recommend placing them one by one until you get the hang of it and then try your multi-placer. But the canvas is super duper clear. As always, it's a poured glue canvas. So when you pull back your clear cover, you'll see that there, it's not tape, it's actually glue. And I do not want to ruin this glue, So, but it is super sticky. <laughs> I just don't wanna to leave too much of a, you know, a mark on there. But I would recommend only pulling back the amount of space that you intend to work on in that session so that you don't get excess dirt, dust, pet hair, anything like that stuck to the canvas. All right, so we're gonna have a look and see where these special diamonds go in just a moment. But first, let's have a look at these diamonds and the colors. If you would like to skip ahead, feel free to just move that little bar across the screen there at the bottom and skip this part, and I will show you exactly where they go in just a moment. So we've got 3371, 605, 604, 895, 963, we've got two bags, 890, we've got two bags, 353, 3706, 666, 904, 602, 894, 892, 891, 321, 905, 3836, and 601. Oh, here we go. We've got all our ABs. <laughs> well, we got three of the four ABs. 127 is this beautiful peachy color. 141 is a white. Can you see that iridescent coating on them? Makes them sparkle. We've got a normal 3326, and then we've got 113, which is a gorgeous candy pink. I love that. And we've got one more in here too. 718, 352, 310, 126. This is the last AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis because it has that beautiful shimmer and glow and color change. 210, 915. Here's another one, 134 is a green, 
beautiful. 600, 741, 606, 351, 743, 947, 742. Another 129. Oh my goodness. There are six ABs, not four. Oh my goodness. 814, 740, 445, 3835, and 498. I totally misread the canvas. How about that? Yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, and then there's a uh, kind of a carrot, uh, and then the dot. Those are all the ABs. That's incredible. So let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom you out here, and we're going to look at the extra, those sparkly colors, extra sparkly colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first one that I see right off the bat is 141, which is the white. And that is pretty much outlining everything in white here. So you see these dots all the way around, covering each petal on the edges, defining the outlines of all of those petals, really making a beautiful, beautiful outline for the entire painting. And then we have, here I can see number three. Three is a very pale pink. And that's on the inside of a lot of these areas as well, all over, just kind of highlighting around the outside of those petals as well. The other ones might be a little bit harder to find. The green, the green is very easy because it stands out. It's the brightest green all along the outside in the leaves there. That's all the green AB. But then we have number one, and number two. Number one is this hot pink I can see on the sides and the darker areas of the flowers. There's larger areas and then outlining areas just there. I see a big spot here. It's going to be absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Number two is trying to evade me, so bear with. I was looking in the wrong spot. So it's up here in these light purple areas, just here, here. I showed that part uh, around here, along all along this side here as well. Just kind of giving some depth and see it down here as well. Oh, stunning. Love lavender. So what do you think? And one thing that I really like about this painting is that you could also turn it to the side like it was on the box. However, you feel that this needs to be framed in your home or in a friend's home. I think it would look absolutely stunning. Um, I love these types of roses. They do remind me of peonies a lot and I, I adore peonies. With that being said, <laughs> what's your favorite flower? Please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. If you are interested in purchasing this kit, it will be available on Saturday, April the 2nd of 2021. No, 2022. What year is it? <laughs> Saturday, April 2nd, 2022 at 9 a.m. Pacific for Ruby and Diamond Club members and 9.30 a.m. Pacific for the general public. So please set an alarm so that you can get this kit. Let me know if you're gonna get this kit too. What do you think? Do you like florals? Are you a fan of flowers and diamond painting? I am, and I'm really glad that this came out. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club again for sending me this sneak peek. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Take care everyone, bye.